Right, so when it comes to setting up a uh, shampooer system, it's obvious that the vacuum bag needs to come off. So right, we'll take that off, just like that. So the next step is to uh, take this off. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put my phone right over here. See what I'm doing here. Yeah. So I'm going to take this off. I know it's a pain in the butt, but my head and my toe touch control does not work. It hasn't worked on it since I had it. Now, the next part is assembling the uh, shampooer nozzle. And this does take a little Okay, I had it right the first time. And I don't want any bad comments saying, Oh, you got this on wrong or anything like that. <clears throat> And my belt, sometimes the belt gets in the way, but. What? I don't know why this is not going in today. Alright. Sorry, I spilled. It's alright. So, now you got the belt sticking up. As you can see right here gotta have the belt sticking up it's very important so when you put this on this hook in here will uh, catch the belt and just like it did then I gotta push my hand obviously like I said my toe touch control does not work Hasn't worked on it since I've had this vacuum, so now that's on. Now the tank. And then I'll be ready to shampoo in the next video. Now the tank. Okay. Film the machine just like so. You know, man, silly thing. And it's stubborn at times, so you gotta make sure it's on there. And that's ready to go. And that's how you assemble our Kirby Carpet Shampooer system. Thanks for watching.